Hello everyone. Depending on who you are, you may test a person to see what type of person they are. You may say particular things. You may do particular things. So you may say particular things. You may do particular things to see how they will react to it. Based on how they react, you will see if you are able to trust them, interact with them, so on and so on. In a sense, depending on what it is, that may not be 100% bad. But if you are being very manipulative, if you are lying, if you are trying to purposely make someone super mad, I believe that is very much uncalled for. That is wrong. What if someone found out what makes you mad? Like really, really, really mad. And let's say they purposely make you mad for whatever reason they have. How would you feel about that? Would you be okay with it? Because as it seems, you are okay with pressing other people's buttons. You are okay with manipulating people in a bad way. I guess to get some type of sense of control or whatever. So if the tables are turned, if a person is doing what you do to other people to you, how will you feel about it? I don't think you will feel too great about it. If you are doing evil to people, how can you complain if they choose to do evil to you? If you are testing people in a bad way, how can you complain if people do it to you? See, I believe it comes down to Treat people based upon how you want to be treated. I can say this right now. The way I treat people, I would be extremely, <laughs> I would be extremely happy if people treat me the same way that I treat others. Now, place that question, place that on yourself. Would you be happy? If people treat you based upon how you treat others, be very honest, the way you are. You may be full of hatred. You may be full of spite. You may be very envious, jealous, uh, what else? Full of negativity. Would you be happy if people treat you based on how you treat others, probably with you, you want people to treat you better than how you treat others. And I think that is very bad. I believe that shows you have to do better. And you may say, well, Kevin, the reason why I am the way I am now, because people betrayed me, people took advantage of me, people abused me, people did this and that to me, so I do very bad things to people to protect myself. Then how are you any better, better than the people who did wrong to you? If you are doing wrong to people because people have done wrong to you, how are you any better than the other wrongdoers? 
think about that. But when someone does something wrong to you, you complain about it. You complain about it. You go around and try to dirty that person's name other than dirtying making your own name dirty because you pretty much do the same or similar things as those bad people you may call other people hypocritical but what about you aren't you hypocritical Aren't you hateful? Don't you, as it seems, try to find a reason to be upset with someone? Like you liked being the victim so badly to where you may lie to yourself and tell yourself, well, this happened and that happened when it did not. Maybe you were the one that did wrong, but you may, what you do wrong, you may place the wrong that you have done and accuse that other person of doing it to make yourself seem like the innocent party. What's up with that? Don't you think that is wrong? You may be able to trick people you may be able to trick your mother, your father, your cousin, your brother, your aunt, uh, the other person's family or whatever, but God knows. And I believe God is the one who will pass around, or should I say pass out judgment, punishment. Let's go to Luke chapter 6, verse 31. And as ye would that men should do to you, do ye also to them. So the way you want to be treated, treat others. I like this verse here. Let's go to Colossians chapter 3, verse 25. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done. And there is no respect of persons. So you reap what you sow. The way you treat people in some way or form, it is going to come back to you. And I really, really like that verse. Not to say that I am perfect. Even when I am betrayed, I think about, okay, a particular thought is telling me, for instance, for an example, a particular thought is telling me to seek out revenge. But I know even though that person did wrong to me, if I choose to do wrong back, that means, in essence, wrong is going to come back to me. So I may get pleasure out of getting revenge, for an example, I'm not saying I do, so I may get pleasure out of getting revenge, but I know it is going to come back to me. And this is one of the reasons, not to say I do everything right, but this is one of the reasons why I stopped doing particular bad things. Because I know even if I don't get caught, even if I can do something bad and not get caught, I know that God knows and I know that I will reap what I sow. So if I were to do something that is not good, I may, I may gain temporarily, but in a sense, what I have gained, it will be taken away 
and maybe plus more. So I am better off doing what is right. I am better off in a sense, taking the evil that people have done and will do to me and praying to God about it and having God to fix the whole situation. Let me stop here. May God bless us.